here we are guys about to cross from the mainland of North Carolina right over one of the bridges onto Holden Beach. We're going to be crossing right over the intercoastal waterway. And check out right there in the center of the screen right down here guys. There's actually a little tiki bar. They offer some tiki bar rides and it's actually tiki's on the water that you can kind of come out and go on and Welcome to Holden Beach. Local restaurant, the Dock House Seafood. You can see it's located right up under the bridge as you're coming in. And look at the big trawl boat going through the intercoastal waterway right back in the background there. That'd be a good place to just pull over there and probably watch boats go by the intercoastal. Traveling. And there's actually a boat landing right here. And an ice cream shop close to the boat landing. You'd love that, wouldn't you, Steph? <laughs> yeah. Sunset slush. Uh oh, how about the same castle sweets and treats? They look to be closed. That might be a good thing, right? Yeah. We love some sweets, right, Steph? Yeah, buddy. Circles, things that you can rent while you're here at the beach. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day for us to get out and explore again, right, Staff? Yeah, man. Do it. So you're rambling, rambling on out that mouth a little bit. <laughs> out that door. Yep, she's rambling and Let's she wants me to take a challenge. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> This is the car. You ready? Yeah. All right. Let's go. Got it. Oh, oh. I'm making a cross there, boy. Oh, your first wagon <laughs> obstacle steps let me help that handy handle there i was able to help Ooh, pick it up and tow him on cross so steps something to take note of and especially if you're handicapped immediately what i realized here is holding beach here is a lot different than uh, what we see in beaufort south carolina as far as the color of the water it's a lot of more blue or the aqua color that could be because as we're coming up the coast from south carolina into north carolina you know we're getting closer to the gulf stream and i think that's what has the effects on it
nice breeze. Yeah, it is. And it looks like they have planted rows and rows and rows of uh, sea oats. Sea grass, sea yeah. oats. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to, you know, of course, it's supposed to stay off the dunes. You see the sign there, keep off dunes, $500 fine. And they got certain areas roped off. So they have just renourished this beach. Got all this sand, new no. sand up here. And they're trying to protect it, trying to get these sea grasses to grow yeah, to help protect the erosion. Public trash cans every so often, every hundred or two hundred yards. Right, I see them. That's good. So people can pick up behind themselves, take their trash along with them, or as you guys that follow along with the channel a lot know, if you see it on the beach, you should pick it up as well. And as we're going along out here, there's a little olive right there, but it's kind of busted up. But you can see we're fixing to go down one slope into uh, land right here where they have renourished this beach and piled it up. Seeing lots and lots of shells. So between right here, guys, the top of this hill right here, and down here we're, we're dropping down five, six foot. There's a piece of a big old broken shock eye. Yeah, you can see that dip there. See the bunch of shark eye stuff? Yeah. I'm I did to see it. That's a, a big piece, too. A couple little olives. So I think we need to get set up and then see what we're going to do. Steph, you're going to take them along down the beach and just look a little bit. And I brought me some fishing rods with some shrimp that I'm going to go out here and just, you know, throw a reel out here in North Carolina and see what I can catch. Just another way to enjoy the day. So in that respect, you can go online and it was like NorthCarolinaWildlife.com, I believe, or something like that. But if you put in, you know, fishing license, North Carolina, it'll come up. Right. And they had a recreational 10 day for a non-resident um, fishing license. That we and did the, right offline, right? That's right. And with the purchase online and everything, I think the fee was like $13 for a 10-day Not bad. Not so. bad for the guys that want to come out and do a little fishing. Look here. That would have been a massive shark guy right there. So these are some of the things that everybody's talking about. Yeah, there's just tons of them here. Look. Washed up on Holden Beach. Tons and tons of olives that I see. And I'm sure that this stuff's slippers. already been picked through a lot. What Probably, you guys think? Probably, yeah. This dredging that's been going on here has been going on for a few months. We're actually late. They just stopped about a week ago. But this is the first chance we had to get here. So we're glad to come check it out. Even if it stopped, we still see lots of beauties. I see olives everywhere. So let's see on right down here stuff out of the water's edge there. Look, this is just the very bottom edge of one of the big sea biscuits fossilized sea biscuits yeah well, you need to figure out where you're gonna get set up so i can get my car that's gonna have to um, let me go down here and get set up and go fishing and um she can take y'all on down this beach and she can talk 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 because she's wanting to shell away right stuff i am let's go <laughs> Um, is the tide going out or coming in stuff? You didn't check? This is fun. Wow. I'm seeing all these big breaking waves and I'm just not thinking that I'm going to be able to fish out there. What about that one? Cannonball jellyfish.
faster. Where you want to go? I'm waiting on you to decide. I'm you thinking we could set up right fish, up here. Let's just set up right up here. Come back up this slope. Do like everybody else is doing. Set up on top of this mound. Not too sure if that tide's coming in or going out. I'll have to check the phone in a minute when I can get it out. Check that tide's near me at. Yeah, I will. I got this is in my bag. I got to get a deal to get it out. And that is half of what everybody's been finding here and we showed you the, that sea biscuit. Yeah, the sea biscuit fossils. Look at the inside of it. It's almost like solid stone. So hard. Worm shells. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we don't really find those on our beach, so. I see them from up here and in Florida a lot, but that's not something we find a whole lot of. Big chunks of coral. There you go, Steph. Alrighty, trying to get my little shelling bags out. Now, where did you get these? A uh, whole little set of them from Amazon. Check out the links in our description. There's some, there's a link to our, the Amazon storefront, which is just like, you know, where Amazon sells and um, products. We just recommend some stuff that we have either bought or do use or would use doing the kind of activities that we do. So that link to the Amazon storefront for Salty Reflections is in that description below. These are listed on there. And we'll try to keep updating that um, description as the time goes on and the products that we use change. We'll try to keep up with it for you guys. Yeah, we use so many. I mean, just going through them and picking stuff out, it takes, it's taken quite a while already. So. We know every time I turn around, I think of another product that we use that I don't have in there. Man, I was hoping to get out here and do some fishing. And right up the way here, you see stretched out is one of the piers, local piers. But to my luck, it is closed during this time. There's a lot of work going on here now. And like we were telling you, the here is actually closed right now. I was really looking forward to going out on that pier and doing a little fishing, but not gonna happen. Not this trip. Not this trip. And another thing right down there beside that pier is perfect opportunity for campers to pull into a spot right on the beach right here at Holden Beach. Here's the camping right on the beach. Don't know much about the camping right there and how you reserve the spot. That's pretty cool too. Yeah. Look at that baby's ear. And look at all the olives. Big jingle. Yeah, there's olives out here for days. There's a baby's ear there. And there's part of one of the sea biscuits and there would be the bottom section of one of them.
another olive. sort of shell fossil there and we were pretty amazed at the size of some of these clams like the pieces how thick they are this one's not even that big compared to some of the ones we found yesterday pretty nice shark pass shell yeah not real big but look right here in good condition it's coral and i can't Ooh. believe the number of these here yeah the turkey wings there's tons of them Yeah, tons How about and the tons. Slippers? A little different slipper than what we see. Different in color. And I'm seeing a big olive right there. Just tons of olives everywhere. Olives, olives, olives everywhere we go. <laughs> I wonder if that's olives for Oliver. Could be. Now that looks like the elegant dystocenia. See, it looks just like a dystocenia, but it's not as flat. It's actually raised some. That could be incorrect because we don't really see much of them. So, but look here, baby's ear, baby's ear, baby's ear, olive, broken olive, olive. Ooh, can't get it so little. Okay. These must be the ones Oliver set back down just then. Maybe or they're just two grouped together that close. Look, two more baby's ears. There's just so much through here. So a cool thing happened to us this morning. Uh, we right back here at the little rental house that is back here, second row off the beach. And we were sitting there and one of the 18 wheelers came by with some of the pipe that I recognized because they used it in our area, rebuilding Hunting Island in Beaufort, South Carolina. And they do all up and down the coast. And um, I'm just wondering as we're sitting here looking through all this stuff, uh, do you think a lot of these shells have gotten busted up due to the, you know the dredging system uh, because they actually you know anchor these boats several miles offshore and they have big huge pipes that they pump the stuff through so I'm sure it goes through some kind of uh, pump to distribute that much you know uh, material that's a strange question I'm and another thing is we have been seeing a lot of posts on uh, about this area and I'm sure, you know, beachcombers have been roaming. We have seen tons of pines from them. As he darts one way, I darted that way. I just saw a couple baby's ears a while ago, but I lost track of them. Big arch, so that's a pretty black scallop. Got a little bit of big coal shark right eye. there. Is that shark eye hole? It's a little busted up there on the tips. Some more of the worm shells. So it looks like you could come and stay in an area like this and dig around and look around and find tons of things just without even having to walk very much, which is unusual for most of us shellers. We're used to having to walk quite a ways to end up with quite a haul. Really pretty black slipper. Tons of those turkey wings, like you mentioned. And look, that piece of that Murex. And we are in the April with all the houses that are along here, which is tons of houses out here on this holding beach. I'm very 
shocked to see that there's not many people out on the beaches and that may have to do with uh you know just it's a midweek day right now we come on that budget time so look at here these are some of those bu busted finds that i were talking about yeah really big shark eye shell big moon snail yeah banded tulip piece and you know from all the people i do know there are some people out there they'll take these pieces and they can really make some works of art oh, out yeah. of them like we got a guy that posts in our facebook group page he's out of the philippines and he shares a lot of his beach find he's finding sunglasses he's finding uh change you know money but he takes all these coral pieces baby doll pieces and some of the, his work looks kind of strange but hey um he, he really kind of intrigues me with what he's doing with just finds off the beach so and he has an awesome collection of stuff yeah also. the stuff he finds every day is just amazing olive olive i'm seeing tons of coral frags Look at those little pieces Pretty babies here, there. Broken piece of the fossilized sea biscuits that everybody's been finding in this area. And guys, what we're going to do, um, Stephanie brought it to my attention. I'm really not the one that decided to do it. But you mentioned to me, Steph, that you're going to actually box up some of the finds right here from Holden Beach, our beach finds, you know, as a way of thanking our patrons, the ones that help us with the channel by, you know, donating a little bit of money just to, you know, make sure that I guess we're getting a little bit of the good life also or whatever you want to call it. They're helping us out, you know, and, and that return we just like to give them stuff that we find on the beaches or something like that just to say thank you right yeah we definitely um try to treat our patrons well i feel like they treat us well their support helps bring us to you guys and they don't even have to do it it's just something they want to do so that is awesome we certainly appreciate each and every one of our patrons and Patreon is the site that we do that through. It's very similar to the members, you know, where you can join a membership for a channel. The, the Patreon, Patreon site just does the creators a little better, so they don't take as big of a percentage as YouTube does. If anybody donates through the YouTube join button. baby's ear and while we're talking about that there's lots of different um, levels to choose from too you can even just donate a dollar if you like anything you know we all we appreciate everything so every little bit helps gas is very expensive right now we're traveling in the car but everything we do involves travel we either have to travel in the boat out to the beaches or by car or by you know pull the boat with the truck and all that so it adds up pretty quickly as well as we like to do channel giveaways and i feel sure i'll um probably do some giveaways from holden for our channel viewers as well so y'all make sure to leave a comment you never know when i'm gonna post that somebody's a winner of a giveaway that they didn't even know so leave that comment and all comments are not you know just for giveaways guys because let me tell you something that happened the other day. You know, I had somebody to comment, and it was kind of shocking to me, but I can understand it because I love that sound right there, that sound that's coming from that ocean. And they were like, you know, they really don't even have time to watch the videos, but they'll just let them play, listen to it through the earbuds, just so they can hear, you know, the ocean. There's people that don't get to travel to the oceans, and I understand the things about life and how you know one of us can have one life and one can live a totally different life and it's all one big circle though we're all we all should be thankful yeah buddy so comments help yeah it helps me to learn about you guys as much as we 
you know, we share our lives. You know, your comments help me to learn about you. I mean, just look at the amount of those turkey wings. That is just crazy. How many turkey wings can you see on your screen right now? Maybe that'll be the contest. <laughs> How many turkey wings can you see? Maybe see her? I love all these little goodies. I can stay out here and just sit and sit. that perfect hole down in that one. I was thinking this morning when I saw some people walking on the sidewalk, you know, they're at this beautiful location. And I, and I do understand, of course, a sidewalk is um, much easier to walk on than the beach sand, of course, for most too. But I was thinking, why wouldn't you walk out on the beach to walk and get exercise? but i definitely see why i would not be able to walk out here not unless i lived here on a you know some of this stuff because i would be too distracted and would not get far on a walk what? you've done picked up all this stuff all i've already picked up goodies. all kind of little goodies look at the blessings those are wow who out there wouldn't love to receive a little box full of those goodies in their mailbox? I probably can't think of anybody watching out there that would not love to find them. I mean, look at this little beauty. I mean, I just can't stop right here. This is a shell and addicts like worst nightmare right here i guess worst nightmare and best daydream all at the same time wow i'm hooked how about y'all hook line and sinker olive olive olives for days olives olives and look what he did he done snuck up here and walked away with my bag. <laughs> he got me with a handful don't of beauties and I don't even know where to put them. There's like five more bags in that um, thing right there Take if you want to grab on one. Myself. I've been a good boy today. <laughs> Look at there. There's a big chunk of the sea biscuit. Just have a chunk out of it, but it lets you know you can see what it is. Some people, you know, have no idea. I mean, I know that sounds unbelievable, but some people really don't even know what a fossil is. So, how cool is that to be holding one? These fossils can be dated back 300 million years, so science says. So, that's pretty crazy. Tons and tons of slipper shells here as well. So I've moved around in a little bit of a circle right here in the same area. And this is up kind of in the dunes. So, I mean, not in the dunes, but like not right in where the water's washing. So a lot of people do walk right along that way. You know, right at the water's edge. So another thing, the reason why we're here, guys, is because, you know, the beaches that we normally travel to, you know, some of our favorite spots, we can't take you guys there any other way besides virtual shelling. So, you know, we wanted to bring you somewhere, and if we get a chance to carry somewhere else, we're going to do that also. We're going to check out some more beaches with you guys and, you know, get out and show you things and when we hear about a spot like this right here with finds that people are talking about like the sea biscuits and we're close enough to them to take you out to these beaches we're going to jump into vehicles and we're going to ride out and we're going to take a look and see if we can find them 
uh, we want some hard evidence behind it you know so that we don't waste our time to bring our viewers to an area that doesn't have these finds and just thinking about them how how old do you think these things are you know some people say that shells can be up in the millions of years old hard to believe yeah uh, one of my coolest finds that i found so far you know on the bear island beach if you ain't seen that video yet please check that out it's a four thousand year old indian artifact that i found on one of the bear island beaches in beaufort south carolina um you can check that video out and tell me what you think about that beach find And we've been the whole time in this little video with you guys right here within 20 yards of our beach cart right here. Right. What about that stuff? Yeah, you that's want a this? nice auger. Yeah, I love those big augers. You want that auger. Oh, look right there. This. Oh, it's yeah. broken. And this one. But there was a lot of them up here and i can't even imagine what it was like when they first started dredging this a couple months ago no, just as i walked right there wow just right there in the walkway in the walkway in the water edge got my little container of baby's ears and jingles overflowing Florida fighting comb. It's not in the best shape, but it's pitted. It's old. Prickly cockles, scallops, lots of coral, shark eye shell, more baby's ears. You, you know I love them. It's tiny jewel boxes, just worn. Really pretty scallop there. More baby's ears. And of course, you know what? We're here for them biscuits. So look at them sea biscuits. It sure is a great time to, you know, just go ahead and close out this part of the video. At least I think it's a great time to do it because I'm relaxed sitting right here on the beach. Uh, thanks for coming along on another video.